Now, so before I finally get into this review, we'll go to the quick description of what a massage gun is because I know what it does, but I actually don't know what it does if that makes any sense. So, a massage guns are um, electronic um, devices that are often used by massage therapists, which we'll get into that in a minute, <laughs> um, to reveal pa to relieve pain and improve blood circulation. They do, do this by producing vibrations that apply to the skin with the help of a massage gun head. Um, so it reduces lact lactic acid buildup, build up, which is what causes the soreness. So it helps improve like flexibility, that sort of stuff. It basically helps blood flow go to the muscles. So it's a bit like a roller, but it's more kind of more um what do you, what's the word you call it more kind of more aggressive <laughs> should i say more aggressive so this one is called the visage fitness massager this was around 30 something pounds and it comes in this handy case which i think is really cool and you get all these kind of heads um to put onto it and everything so i'll go through the heads what i like to use um, for me but first I'll just show you the actual gun so this is um, rechargeable so basically to turn it on first off when you get it it's completely you can't even try it straight off you have to charge it and it takes a while to charge it like it takes up to five hours to charge um, but you can't use it straight out because it's not even it's like completely flat but anyway to turn it on you just press this button and then you've got the plus and minus and basically they have different speeds um, personally I always have it at number one I feel that any higher it just gets aggressive a little bit too um, aggressive so for the different heads I like to use this for my shoulder because I have massive shoulders anyway and if I want to reach quite a bit of shoulder and do quite a bit of a shoulder all at the same time then I use this one. So this one I like to use in back, back just because it's softer and I have a bony back which we'll get into in a minute. <laughs> and then there's this one which you've probably seen all over the place. This is like the universal one which I like to use on my arms, on my legs, that kind of thing. It's the more universal than the others. You've got different ones. You've got the um, ones that you can directly, I'll show you. <laughs> So you got these ones that are more like if you want to have a position, uh, pre more precision, and then you've got this one which is we you, it advises to use the back of the neck. Personally, I wouldn't touch the neck with a barge pole, but it's there anyway. There's a lot of things you can't use it on. You can't use it on joints. Um, the most gruesome, not gruesome, but the more like um they make products for that, but genitalia i'm sorry who the fuck is using that thing <laughs> on the genitalia oh my god have you not heard of like vibrators like like use a versace one if you want a strong one i think it's called versace is it called the versace you know the sex toy the base the best one supposed to be like the best one this is this this is this this has just gone out completely out of like out of context now we're supposed to be focusing on the massager but anyway does it work so it does its job as i said um it works like in between like if you work not like in between workouts but in between like rest days after um you work out that sort of thing it just helps loosen up the muscles and everything and helps you know get rid of the doms and stuff like that um when it comes to back if you have a bony back you're gonna have you might have a little bit of issues so my top my upper back is fine it's just where where my where you start to go in the middle of my back in between like my spine please don't put it on your spine it does tell you not to put it on your spine um it's quite bony and you have to kind of angle it it's the same with my chest because my chest is quite um bony as well when i do my chest i kind of have to angle it so i use this one for my chest i forgot to mention that i have to angle it like that so it's not as vicious with, a, with your back i advise you know if you've got somebody to try and help you do your back <laughs> because i mean 
it's a lot harder to reach for it and it just becomes so much hassle if you've got a bony back but for me if I really need a back massage I think I would probably just go to Mama Sue which brings me back to the description of a thing so by the sounds of it these were supposed to be used by massage masseuse, masseuse people it's like let's give them to the general public for them to use even though it's weird for a masseuse to use something like that like I thought the fingers were a lot better but again it probably works a little bit easier there's certain things with this you have to be aware of there's certain um, medical issues you can't use it if you've got nerve. I know one of them is if you've got nerve issues you can't use it it's not advice to use it every inflammation just more kind of problems you could have hidden reasons as to why you'll get a muscle pain so again like the foam roller it doesn't completely get rid of the masseu and as I said if I definitely need a deep massage then it's best to go to them just because they know exactly like I don't know how they know because I'm not trained in that but they know exactly at point point pinpoint where that tightness is or where that knot is um so there's more kind of I don't want to say dangers because it's not like you can die from using one of these but there's more complications that can happen um using that compared to using a foam roller but you know <laughs> that's that basically if you want to try one of these try one of them unless you've got health issues always like double check with like your doctor and stuff like that if you can actually use them a lot of them will anyway come with like a leaflet saying what kind of um conditions that you can't use it for but even then if you don't know what you should want it for so get your doctor first um but yeah and you're probably thinking what do i prefer do i prefer the gun or the foam roller um it's a hard one because i feel the foam roller it, it's a hard one obviously i've not used the gun um completely like i've not used it loads to make i might do another video actually comparing the two to make a full kind of assessment of which i do prefer but from first kind of first kind of uses and stuff i would give it to the foam roller just because you can you can easily kind of add like and pressure onto it and you can easily pinpoint I mean you can with the gun as well as I said I need to use it a little bit more just to try it out but I kind of so far may slightly before the foam roller for more position for, for more position for more precision that's the word isn't it precision than I do but if you do want to try that if it's still online so I got this online before it went into stores because I knew it was like just in case I was working and it completely sold out in the stores and um, they might have it in the stores I don't know if they still got it online I have no idea but if you do want to try it out this is a good one to go for and it's not expensive I know like the first one that came out wasn't it like 200 300 pounds like the first like proper one and obviously there's loads now that have come out so if you do want to try it on it's not like a massive investment and then if you do really like it then maybe you want you then decide to invest in more of kind of a more expensive one but it's a good one for like a starter just to kind of like try it and try it out and see if you do actually do like one of these but yeah that's it for this review so bye for now